So if we wanted to make areas darker, of course, we could duplicate this layer and then change it to multiply. And we could hold Alt or Option and click the Add Layer Mask and just paint areas in. For example, uh, let's say we wanted to make her eyebrows darker. We could do that and we'd of course want to mask out the edge and whatnot. So darkening eyebrows is great. Just do a multiply layer blending mode on a new layer and just selectively mask out. What if we wanted to say reshape the eyebrows? Say just trim the edge here. So what we're going to do is Control or Command J to duplicate the layer. So we'll work on a duplicated layer and choose the lasso tool. Let's make a soft edge to it though. So um, click and drag around an area like so and then go to select modify feather and let's do really big numbers maybe like 10 pixels something like that and then choose the move tool and just click and drag that right on top alright and then change the opacity down so it's not as obvious and there's before and there's after so that does a pretty good job. I'm going to delete that layer so because I want to show you another technique. What if you wanted to reshape or even change the direction of an eyebrow? Let's say you had a photo and the eyebrows were not symmetrical or you just wanted to change even taking a person's finger or hand and moving it left or right. You think, well, wouldn't we use the liquify tool? Well, actually, no, we can actually use puppet warp, which is a pretty neat tool. So go ahead and use the lasso tool and click and drag and don't put it right along the side of the eyebrow just give it a little bit of leeway there around the edge not too much but then we want to feather the edge so just go to select modify feather and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like five pixels press control J on the PC command J on the Mac that duplicates the layer so we have it on a new layer like that so making sure that top layer selected go to edit and then puppet warp and if you hit show mesh it will show the mesh of the area that we're going to be working on but basically what we want to do is click click and click and then this last one that we clicked if I click and drag it up and down it will move it up and down right so it kind of stretches it along those areas that we clicked as kind of like turning points that uh, we pin down the pixels to those areas and then click and drag the last one to move it. So if I just wanted to move this down a little bit, I could do something like that and then hit the check mark. Problem is, it's a very noticeable edge here. So what you can do is add a mask and then make sure the foreground color is set to black, soft edge, hardness set to 0%, and I'm just going to paint right here. And I'm going to paint a little bit up here. The problem is the other part starts to show through. So I don't want that. Let me go back one. There we go. And we could actually fine tune this even more with the clone stamp and also spot healing brush tool. But there's the before and then there's after. So if we ever want to move something around, we can use the puppet work tool. Just remember to duplicate content onto a new layer if you just want that area to be affected with the puppet warp.